What is going on guys, this is Tommy Please, and I am back with another video, and in this video, I am going to be discussing the uh, uh, Battlefield 1 uh, pickups that will be coming in the game. So if you didn't know, uh, Battlefield 1 has uh, three uh, hero pickups, uh, they will be placed throughout the map, uh, and I, I'm pretty sure the team that holds the flag will be able to use it. So before I get uh, into this, I just want to say real quick, uh, uh, in case you didn't know, I'm sure a lot of you do know by now, but the Battlefield 1 beta is uh, coming out on the 31st of August. And there are rumors saying that if you are an insider, you will get it a day early, although I am uh, i don't think that's confirmed. Uh, and also, the Titanfall beta is uh, its not out anymore, but if you want a chance to play that next weekend, uh, Friday through Sunday is the last weekend you have to play it. Uh, the time for beta, so make sure you do that as well. Alright, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to be discussing what I think of the hero pickups. Uh, to be honest, I am a... I have mixed feelings. I am a bit concerned. Uh, because I know if they don't really execute this properly, it could just turn into a really, really big mess. But uh, first, let's just uh, discuss what the three pickups are. Uh, or at least three that we know of. <clears throat> Alright, so first off, we have a uh, flamethrower dude. And basically, he's uh, what you expect, a big guy with a flamethrower. So yeah, obviously he's using a flamethrower, so he has a gas mask on. And this does uh, decrease his uh, mobility and stuff. Uh, he does walk a bit slower, uh, you can't really see that well uh, through his uh, mask. Uh, the range of his uh, flamethrower is, is also uh, pretty short. Uh, you know, it's if you look up uh, like flamethrowers in real life, it's about... Uh, it goes about as far as they do, you know, it's not, not too short, but it's also not very long range either. Uh, I also did notice that it does take a little bit to kill enemies sometimes. Uh, so, uh, going on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, with a flamethrower probably isn't the best idea. You're probably going to want to stay in a more confined space. Uh, going to trenches and stuff where there's going to be a huge amount of uh, enemies. So you can wipe out like three, or three, four, or five enemies at one time. That would be the best uh, way to use them. Alright, next we have a uh, machine gun a dude, and obviously he carries a, like, a massive LMG, like his LMG is just absolutely huge. Um, uh, and his LMG is actually water cooled, so it won't uh, overheat, and well if it does overheat it will take a while, I don't believe it overheats though. Uh, and he's just, he is just filled with armor, like if you watch the trailer you know what I mean, like he got shot in the head and he just <laughs> it just didn't look like it affected him at all uh but yeah he, he just he just absolutely melts enemies uh, uh i personally think it would be a lot more useful than the flamethrower guy just because he can pretty much do what the flamethrower guy can except he has a uh, range uh the machine gun guy is also very slow so keep that in mind obviously with the amount of armor and how heavy the gun is he you would expect him to be uh, very slow and the last one we know so far is uh, the anti-tank uh, dude, and uh, he uh, he carries basically this very very long, uh, very long anti-tank gun that fires just just a massive bullet, uh, and it can it it really damages tanks like a lot like a lot more than the uh, standard anti-tank gun that you normally get. Uh, but yeah, he uh, obviously he's gonna walk slow too. I mean, the gun, his gun is just massive. Uh, but yeah, this uh, as I tank guy, he's not really uh, he's not really that much too much special than the other guys. But you know, he's he's pretty uh, useful to take out tanks and stuff. So I guess there's a place for him. Uh, so like I said, I do think that uh, the hero pickup system is a good idea, but I do uh, uh, have some concerns. Uh, one of which is I don't want these guys being like, you know, I don't want them to be as powerful as, we, as like heroes in Battlefront. I want people to actually have to think about what they're doing with them. I want them to know that if they go into a cluster of enemy, they will get melted down fast. I don't want them to be able to go into a cluster of enemies where all of them are shooting at them and survive for a very long time. Uh, I want people to play smart with these characters. I don't want them to just be these massive, just walking bullet sponges. Uh, 
because that would just uh, not, not not really be that fun. Uh, I also don't want these guys spawning like uh, as soon as they die, like 30 seconds or one minute, two minutes after they die. I feel like there should be at least like a 10 to 15 minute cooldown of uh, when these guys die where they should respawn. Uh, and also, I overall I just don't know uh, about the whole idea of having. Uh, hero pickups in Battlefield, because we've never seen this before in a Battlefield game, and uh, I'm sure it'll be fine, but uh, Battlefield has never had anything like this before, and just, I uh, I really don't know what to think of it, I'm not really going to uh, go much into detail in it, because obviously I haven't played the game yet, so I am i don't really know, uh, like, uh, how powerful they are and everything, uh, but yeah, I just don't know if having pickups in a Battlefield game really just... I don't know. I don't know if it fits well with the franchise as a whole. Uh, but you know, I just have to wait for the beta to come out to uh, to uh, figure it out. And hopefully, I'll be able to get some gameplay of it. I'm not promising anything because getting a hold of it might be a bit difficult. But uh, yeah. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video. It really does truly mean a lot to me. And yeah, I mean, let's see here. Uh, how long have I been recording this? I've only been recording this for about six and a half minutes. Thing is, this this script here took me about 30 minutes to write. So, and it really would mean a lot to me if you left a like and a comment on the video. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed, uh, again, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Up, up, and away we go. Up, up, and it's making me glow. Up, up, and away we go. Up, up, and like it.